Hello, I am Ricardo Villate and I lead IDC for the Latin America region. I hope you're all staying healthy and safe. As in the rest of the world, COVID-19 has changed many things in the economies of Latin America. In the post-COVID economy, the so-called next normal, the region will be very different from before. Various sectors will contract, some permanently. Some aspects of the economy, however, will accelerate. Digital transformation will be one of these. Although the digital economy has been accelerating sharply in the last three years, several of the factors behind this acceleration are revealed now as even more critical during the pandemic. This is how the four main digital economy drivers are changing the rules of the next normal. First, recession. During 2020, Latin America's GDP is now expected to decline 5.3%, down from an already lukewarm expectation of 2.1% growth for 2020, um, as of the Q4 2019 forecast. In a region where average informal employment reaches 54%, formal unemployment will jump from 8.1% to 11.5% in 2020. We are already seeing some of the largest casualties of this recession. Consumption is reducing drastically, particularly along lo among low-income families. Second, value chain substitution. The most visible example of a shift in this economic driver is the retail industry. E-commerce penetration in Latin America grew more than 36% during the first month of the pandemic alone, accelerating its protracted evolution two to three years. The penetration of digitally assisted sales and fulfillment processes that result from buyers shifting to online will mostly remain after the quarantine restrictions end. This move to digitally transformed processes will accelerate focus on technological resources over time. The region will also see supply chain configuration changes as large manufacturers and distributors are shifting to seek redundancy and minimize their dependency on currently disrupted supply chain. Platform economy at scale, third. Organizations in all industries have been evolving their business models toward ecosystem-based value creation. Companies are increasing their reliance on mega platforms or IT infrastructure for artificial intelligence and for application development and on application platforms for ecosystem network effects. The global nature of the pandemic threat has fueled the sense of urgency of those looking for business disruption beyond national borders. In Latin America, for example, public cloud service platforms are gaining share of spending. Public cloud spending in the enterprise market in, in Latin America will grow to represent 11% of all information technology spending in 2020, up from 8% in 2019. This is a 27% growth in penetration in just one year. Digital transformation acceleration. Four, COVID-19 is not only accelerating shifts in consumption, but also in digitization of experiences, processes, and business models in all industries. Online penetration is increasing in buying, payments, in servicing, in citizen support and patient care, in training and skilling, in delivery of all sorts of goods, just to name a few examples. The use cases for digital transformation are growing and will continue to accelerate, impacting the economy in many ways. When organizations come out of the recession, they will be operating in a new type of economy, the next normal. Some of the permanent changes the Latin American companies expect include the expansion of permanent remote work environments for a larger number of employees, a more diversified supply chain to guarantee resiliency against uncertain future shocks, automated contactless operations, and a more empathetic digital experience. Future of customers and consumers. Digital transformation is shifting the relationship between brand and consumers. And to be successful during the pandemic, brands need to embody true empathy for their customers, to establish a trusted relationship, and to remain deeply connected. Future of work. Digital to transform work environment is by definition an agile environment. And that agility became more critical for business continuity during the crisis. The COVID-19 pandemic forced innovative ways of working to be developed and adopted. Future of operations. A digitally transformed operation is based on resiliency in all parts of its organization and its decision making. The COVID-19 pandemic underscored why is it critical for digital organizations to build a house of resiliency with innovation and operation agility at its foundation. Future of intelligence. 
during a time of uncertainty, real-time information from all internal and external sources, combined with historical learning and knowledge, enables organizations to rapidly replan and reforecast. Future of connectedness. Organizations and individuals need to connect seamlessly, regardless of the location, situation, or context. During the COVID-19 pandemic, organizations have seen how critical it is for information to be created, shared, or consumed in real time. Future of digital innovation. Organizations use software to improve products and provide better, more effective, and more responsive interactions with customers, partners, and governments. Those who have invested in agile software development capabilities pivot more easily during the pandemic to source software, develop code, distribute innovations. Future of industries. As the COVID-19 pandemic stressed supply chains and consumer markets, traditional design, development, and delivery of products and services are quickly being transformed by ecosystem partners coming together. Future of digital infrastructure. Responding quickly to business deceleration and acceleration brought on by the pandemic requires a greater use of infrastructure resources that minimize under underutilization of assets and improve the ability to scale up capacity for critical new experience or analytic workloads. Future of trust. Trust is more than just security. Organizations that look to be trusted and come out of the other side of the pandemic stronger implement trust and empathy at scale, putting people before short-term profits. As we move past the crisis, those that understand the inflections of the recovery and plan for the next normal early on will be in the best position to adapt and to take advantage of the opportunities that appear. Thank you.